What up, YouTube? It's your boy, not Colonial Mechanic anymore. I have officially retired Mechanic Lifestyle. I don't want to do it anymore. It's a headache. Like, I'd rather tent windows. So, I'm just tent man for now on Facebook. I haven't changed my name across the rest of the social media platforms. But stay tuned for that. It will be changing sometime soon once I come up with a creative name for YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, something that stands out, but not something as basic as just tent men, because there are a lot of tent men out there. But besides that, look at the new shop that I'm in. This is the new spot. I know it's been a while since y'all have heard from me. A lot has changed, and a little pat on the back. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, we finished the year last year with 567 tent jobs. So thank you to everybody who's been a part of that, of course. Um, I ended up giving out two free Christmas presents on Facebook, two free tent jobs. Um, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you've seen that. I appreciate everybody who participated in that contest. But besides all of that, this video is about today is the tent mobile and the Morimoto headlights that I bought for it a couple of years back. I'm um, going to be doing a follow-up review and letting you know how I feel about it. All right, so there are a couple things I want to talk about as far as these headlights. As far as performance, they are great. They are a huge upgrade from factory, and I have no complaints about that. It doesn't really get any better than this as far as aftermarket options for this vehicle. As for appearance, still good. I have had no fogging issues or anything inside the headlight that has went wrong. So that there is a 10 out of 10, I would definitely have to say. Never giving me, never giving me any issues like that. Cool. Now, of course, we're here today because I have to swap this headlight, the driver's side, because the bulb just flickers, then it gets super dim. Let me see if I can show you real quick. All right, see, it's on right now. It's on. On and on. And there you go. Got the flicker right there. You can see, you can see it's still on a little bit but not very much. This thing is dying on me. So sent that video or sent a video of that happening to Morimoto and it got back to me and said, okay, cool. Would you like to purchase a new light and return the old one and get your money back? Or would you like to just send the light in and wait for replacement? Of course, this is my daily vehicle and it is winter time. So I went with the buy a new light and get my money back later route. Not a problem, cool. Um, the only thing is their communication, I wouldn't say it sucks, but it's definitely slow. Like I reached out to them about the light and it took like a little over a week. I want to say just for them to get back to me. And then each time we exchanged messages, it was like one message per day. So a good four or five days had gone by before we were finally able to arrange some type of warranty return or exchange. Not a problem. I need some light. Not a problem, but you know, God forbid, or no, in the event that I was driving in an area where, you know, lighting was very important, that would be kind of not so great for me, but it's whatever. I will just look at it as they are a busy company and have a lot of people to take care of. So, you know, you got to be patient, of course. But then I look at that also in other perspectives. Like, are you busy, you know, just fulfilling new orders or are you busy granting warranties? Which, if it's warranties, then it's not so good because that means you're putting out a faulty product. And if you guys don't remember, these headlights are almost $1,000 for the pair. So it's not something that you want to, you know, keep going through as far as warranties. But whatever. Of course, we got one more screw right here. Is it a 7 or an 8 millimeter? Um, let's go with 7. Um... And then once the warranty was granted, it took like almost a week and a half, two weeks to get a new light. 
which was like, damn. I got the notification saying that a shipping label had been created, which was right around the new year. So I would say that played a role in this whole thing. But, you know, the new year is only a couple days and it took a while to get the light out. But it's here now. I'm not complaining or anything. I'm just sharing my experience, letting you guys know what you can possibly run into. Now, one thing that's now, another thing that I forgot to mention to you guys is this is not the first time that I've done a warranty claim with them. Sometime this past summer, 2023, the passenger side just didn't work at all as far as the low beam. Like, the DRL still worked, the side marker worked, but the actual headlight bulb was giving me issues. So, I went through the same thing with them, and I guess now it's the driver's side's turn. So what is cool is that they do offer a five-year warranty from the purchase date when you purchase these headlights, which is cool. But after a little over a year of having, or no, wait, November 2020. Oh, yeah. So only a year after having them, now both sides have went out, which is not the end of the world. But, you know, if you're giving me the exact same product you gave me the first time, pattern show that these are going to go out again. I'm hoping that I'm wrong because, you know, after five years is up, I have no warranty. And then I'm stuck with some broken thousand dollar headlights. So I'm hoping that over time, while, you know, me and others have gone through these warranty claims, I'm hoping that they've opened up these headlights and uh, sourced the root of the problem. Hoping that when they give out warranty replacements, I caught a pair that were um, redesigned. Cool part I remember is this one only has to be loosened. So I did everything I was supposed to do when I installed these headlights. I used the grease. I mean, that's actually the only thing to do. Use the grease and that's it. So hopefully I don't have to go through this again. But... Never know. This thing is pretty stuck in here. Oh, we got a little bit of corrosion in there. I wonder if that's giving me the issue. But some faulty grease there then. <laughs> I need this bulb back. That's mine. You don't get that, Morimoto. That is mine. So what I will do, um, probably tomorrow, is grab another pigtail for this part. Just because. Yeah. But there was not a similar issue on this side, so... I don't really want to blame this pigtail for the things that have happened, but definitely can tell it will play a role. But we'll see how things go. And again, I'm not talking down or complaining, just letting you guys know the experience that I went through and hoping that maybe Morimoto sees this video and say, hey, we noticed something that we can change about our product. All right, so they did not give me any grease to put inside of these headlight sockets. So I'll have to go grab some of that tomorrow. And the other thing that sucks is having to aim these beams all over again. But whatever. So that will pretty much conclude everything I had to say as far as this review. Um, I guess I should also mention the Morimoto fog lights that I bought for this truck. Those have not given me any issues at all. They have been solid 100%. So those get a complete 10 out of 10. And the price for them is definitely a lot more reasonable. I think they're 2 or 250 something like that. 
not bad at all. Great product. They look great too. Um, one more thing I do want to mention that may, you know, steer some of you guys' mind in a different direction. I've never had a perfectly working set of aftermarket LED lights. The only LED lights that are aftermarket that have never failed me are interior dome lights that I've bought for pretty much every vehicle I own. But as far as headlights and fog lights, any of those bigger bulbs, they've never lasted as long as the quote unquote LED says it should last. So, you know, in that sense, I'm kind of not surprised that these headlights are failing on me, but it would be cool if they didn't fail just because, you know, you pay a thousand dollars for something. You expect great quality, but who knows? Um, pretty much all I have for you guys today. I guess I'll show you everything one more time. So that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, overall, I am still satisfied with these headlights. I still would recommend them. They are a great looking set of headlights and they do a great job at shining down the road at nighttime, which is very important, especially for somebody like me who has a very dark tinted vehicle. So um, if you found this review helpful, do me a favor, like the video, of course. If you have these headlights and have had any issues or not any issues, still comment and let me know. I'm curious to see what you other guys have went through. And I want to thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day. Tent Man out.